Saluta is a mythical bird. Half man, half bird. From waist up, it is a man, male, with a, and from neck up, it's a bird. Has two horns, has flaming hair, has a crown of vajras, and has a beak with very iron meteor-like teeth, very powerful. And his two hands holds snakes. Then his bottom, from waist down, is that of, um, of a bird, and his feet are talons, stepping on a corpse, on a sun disc, and locusts. These birds were very powerful in protecting people from snakes and snake spirits. Very, very powerful. One of the most potent forms of magic is using snake spirits. Nagas. I'll say nagas in Chinese. Very powerful, protect you from that. So this practice is for that, but it has two specialities. <coughs> One is protection of epidemic diseases. And if you have somehow unfortunately contracted it, to heal from it through this practice is a fierce way of healing quick. Two, this practice is excellent for protecting you from spirits, demons, black magic, and especially magic related to Navas or water spirits. So if you have fear you're in a dirty place, you're in a very bad place, you're in a place that's infected or not clean, or you feel someone's infected you. If you do this meditation and prayer continuously, you will receive signs that you have dispelled. So if other people want to, in fact, hurt you or harm you through magic, by the recitation of this mantra and practice, you can avert it and stop it. You don't need to pay high prices to bonbons or whatever. You can simply do black Garuda practice, and you will be able to stop this magic, no doubt at all. <clears throat> so, Black Buddha is not a mythical bird. Whether it exists or not, I don't know. But Buddha Shakyamuni himself took on this form of a bird and taught this tantra for you to use. So it's Buddha Shakyamuni in a fierce form, like a protector, to protect you from negativities. So if you recite this mantra continuously in places or people who try to harm you, all types of harm will be stopped definitely will be stopped. There is no doubt. This is a very secret practice. This is a very rare practice and it's not easily given. It's only during very epidemic or dangerous times this practice is given. And it's a very rare practice. I received this initiation many, many years ago and I've never heard of anyone, any monks or anyone doing this practice ever. That's how rare it is.